KTRH News Time, 846, and we had the pleasure of uh, talking with the First Lady of Texas, Anita Perry. She will be in town November 17th for a women's conference at the uh, Brown Convention Center. And, uh, Mrs. Perry, you've said the opposition and even the GOP have brutalized your husband for his faith. Are you standing by that comment? Well, I'm just going to say those were my comments. You know, I had I had not even seen Rick when I made those co- comments, and uh, it was just a feeling that I had that morning. I think you had to have the setting um, if you needed to be there with me. And, and quite frankly, the other thing is I didn't know that I was being filmed on video, which, you know, it's a good lesson to learn. But, um, um, you know, I think we were late entering to this race, and I think we rose to the top very quickly Mm -hmm. and so you know that's hard to take for people that have been in it for months or you know quite frankly for years and that's a little hard to see so i think he became you know the center of attack from some and you know as a wife that's just hard to watch and those were totally my comments so he he's tough and we've been through this before and he's the candidate i'm certainly not the candidate but yeah. but you know if 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 that was happening to me my wife would have done the exact same thing only she would have probably used bad language oh, well i will tell you i've gotten a lot of support you know i don't go and i just people say oh You've gotten so much support for actually putting a human side on this race, a human face to this race. You know, I've been criticized on one hand, but, you know, I expect that. And we've been in this public life for a long time. But I will have to tell you, a lot of women have really thanked me for putting my foot forward Mm -hmm. and saying, you know, this is tough. Well, Mrs. Perry, I've got to ask you that. I mean, it is one thing to do what you've done in Texas, and uh, Governor Perry has been, you know, at the top of the heap for years and years. Now you're uh, on the national ticket in a national campaign. How different is that? Well, it's different because, obviously, the, the, the geographical difference, you know, and the people are different. What a wonderful opportunity for me to get out and meet the great people of this nation, mm. you know. We we all are Americans. We live in different parts of the country, but we're all Americans, just like different parts of Texas. We live in different parts of Texas, and we may think a little bit differently, you know, from one geographical location to the next, but we're all Texans. But now, you know, we're all Americans, so it's been such a fun and exciting experience. First Lady Anita Perry joining us here this morning. And when we come back, I ask the First Lady a question I dare say no other radio talk show host has ever asked her. That question and more with the First Lady next on Houston's Morning News. We're talking with First Lady Anita Perry, who never blanked during this entire interview. And we asked uh, the First Lady, uh, Governor Perry has stumbled a bit in previous debates. Has he received any coaching for tonight's debate in Nevada? Is uh, he improving in his skills? Well, I think he's, I hope you saw that last week. I certainly did. I saw, uh, you know, and I'm sitting there, maybe I'm, I'm not being as critical as those who really are professionals at debates, but you know, the first, if you don't mind, the first debate, I thought he did very well. Oh, I, 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 I agree. I, I, I agree, and I think everyone else did, too. Yeah. And then the second debate was, you know, yes, I thought he did fine. The third debate, yes, he flubbed one, I'm going to use that word flub. Yes, he didn't have the best response when he could have uh, to one question. And then I just, I saw, I thought it got out of control, you know, sitting there. I, I thought the moderators could have had more control over their format. So, yes, but it, uh, last week's debate, if you will notice, they asked him one question in the first hour. First Lady Perry, I've got to ask you this. <laughs> um, you know, illegal immigration has been called your husband's Achilles heel in terms of this campaign. Would you agree with that, or does he even have an Achilles heel? Uh, you know, I hear that resonate in, in the different states. And that was a decision that was made in 2001. Remember, our legislature voted for that. There were only four no's for that vote. The people of Texas decided that we had a choice for the immigrants in our states. We could either make them be taxpayers or tax wasters. And we decided, overwhelmingly, in Texas, we wanted to make productive citizens out of the immigrants and allow them the opportunity for education. But... For three things they had to be doing. They had to reside in the state for more than for three years. Mm-hmm. They had to be working on their citizenship. I think people tend to forget that. That's a requirement. They had to be working on their citizenship and they pay full tuition. They pay full tuition.
First Lady Anita Perry joining us here this morning. And I've got one final question, and this is just just for me. Uh, when you get to the White House and you look at that beautiful home that Americans pay for, what do you think the first thing you'll redecorate is? I oh. mean, as you go in there, I mean, are you gonna are you gonna say, "Look, this has got to be changed"? I mean, what would you do? I will invite you, Matt, to come up <laughs> and make a decision. If if we are so humbled and successful to do this, I want you to call me. All right. Do not forget to call me. No. We've got a lot of work to do to get mm-hmm. there. So. Thank you so very much. It is uh, it is a pleasure to have you on. Now I have this uh, recorded. I and when you get to the White House, uh, I am going to call you and I am going to say, Mrs. Perry, it's Matt Patrick. Remember that guy from Houston? <laughs> uh-huh. I want to take a look at uh, the White House, see what we can redecorate. Listen, you are an absolute uh, jewel uh, in this state. We are so proud uh, that you are with us today, and we are so excited to have you coming to Houston on November seventeenth. Uh, the best to you, to the family, to Governor Perry as well. Give him our best. Uh, and God bless you both. Thank you so very much. Y'all have a wonderful day. Full interview is available, KTRH.com, keyword Matt, on my blog page. There's a lot more there. Check it out, the full interview with First Lady uh, Anita Perry.